Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Edit With Me Monday show, the show where we make editing in Lightroom super, super simple. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to edit amazing, stunning sunset photos, and then afterwards, I'm gonna challenge you guys. I'm gonna challenge you to enter my sunset photography contest over on Shutout. More details about that at the end of the video. Let's get editing. I just want you to edit with me, edit with me, ooh, edit with me, edit with me, Monday. All right, so I'm gonna take you through my exact workflow when editing sunset photos. These are just the things that I love to do and that I think make an incredible edit. So you're gonna get your photo, we have it up in Lightroom. Right now, there's, there's really not too much to look at with this sunset photo, but trust me, we're gonna make it look super, super awesome. So the first thing that I always do is go to this basic panel and I bring those highlights down just so that we really bring a lot more detail into the sky. Then I crank up those shadows, and look, we had some really interesting things here. These flowers were totally hidden before, and now those dark points, there's some life to them. Now, next up, hit Option and click that slider on the whites. Now, if you move it, you can kind of see where it's clipping. So you don't want that much, but I like the kind of sun point to be a pure white. So that's why I'm sliding it just till I see the sun and then I stop. So you can see this is a lot brighter now, a lot more happening. And I also like to do this on the black because I do like my images to have a pure black point. So we're gonna pull that down just till we see some black spots. And what that means is those spots are pure black. So that already looks really good and all we did was move around four sliders. Like Lightroom is insanely amazing. Check out that before, after, before, after. Okay, loving where this is going. I'm gonna bring up the contrast just a little bit, and then this is just a stylistic choice, but I'm gonna bring the clarity down a little just to give it kind of that calm, serene vibe. Now, I'd really like to bring down the clarity even more, but if I do that to the whole image, it's gonna give it this really fake, bad look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go click here, which is the adjustment brush, and I'm going to just take down the clarity only on the sky and the clouds. So by using a brush, I can just pinpoint just that area that I want. And I think that that looks really good. Now the clouds just look extra fluffy, extra calm, really liking it. I'm gonna do a few more changes now with the adjustment brush. You can double click here to just reset all the settings every time. So what I'm gonna work on next is these flowers down here. These yellow flowers, I'm loving them. I just want them to be more yellow. So I'm gonna bring up the temperature, warm it up, and bring up the saturation. And then I'm gonna go, and actually maybe the highlights a little bit too. And then I'm gonna go cover this yellow flower. Now the other thing here is that there's yellow in, the, in this flower, so I'm gonna kinda just click those yellow points and add that there, because the yellow of the sun and then the yellow down here, I think, is really pretty. So we'll just go ahead and do that, bring up those shadows a little bit. That looks really, really nice. And now we just need to do a little bit with those flowers over there. So another new adjustment brush. And with this one, I'm gonna bring up the highlights bring up the whites, the warmth, and the pink. I want the tint to be a bit more pinky down there. So now let's, oh yeah, you can see that coming through. See all those little guys coming to life. I love it. Now you can always click here just to see where you're actually changing things. So I just like to make sure I'm not missing any spots. Perfect, love it, it's great. So next thing I would do is, because I brought down those blacks a little bit, I am just going to fade those blacks a little bit there. Just a little bit, like not too much. Great. Now we're gonna go into the HSL, and I'm not gonna do too much with the actual saturation, but I am gonna play around with the hue a little bit. 
kind of want that sky to almost be just a little bit more of a teal sky. Again, not too much, but a little bit. And then I like those greens to also have a bit more life there. So I'll bring the greens up on the saturation. And then on the luminance, gonna bring the greens down just because they're not really the focal point. And the luminance in the blue I'm gonna bring down because I really want that dark to light vibe in the sky. So that means the, the blues are gonna be darker and those yellows and everything are gonna stand out a bit more. So next I'm gonna do some split toning on this photo. I know it sounds scary, but it is really, really not. And I actually made a whole tutorial on split toning. Click it up there if you need help. So what I'm gonna do with the split toning is I click this little box and I'm gonna add pinks into the highlights. That's way too much, but you can go and bring the saturation down just a little bit. And I'm gonna add some more blues into the shadows. Again, too much, but a little bit is really nice. So now we kind of have that contrast of blues in the shadows, pinks in the highlights. It's all starting to come together. Let's see where we're at before, after. This is looking good. So at this point, I'm really liking where the colors are and because I've done HSL and split toning, the colors are pretty true to what they're gonna be. So I know if I need to add in anything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add a radial filter with a bit more exposure and some more warmth. And just put that exactly where the sunset is happening. Make sure you invert it so that the changes are actually happening to what's inside the circle, not what's outside of it. And just be careful again here that you're not kind of going too far with it. Now the next thing I wanna do is just add a little bit of vignetting. You can get that in the effects panel. And just again, very, very slight. I really like this stuff to be feathered so it doesn't look, you know, really cheesy but just a little bit to darken up all around. So your, your eye is really going to the center of the photo. Now that didn't quite do it for me, so what I'm also gonna do is go to the gradient filter and just bring down the exposure a little bit and actually the shadows as well. And just go right from the top down. So you can see what that did there was it just is helping us go from really dark to light where the sun is. And that's really what you want in sunset photos is that nice kind of gradient. I'm also gonna add this down here too because I really want people's eyes to go to the center and it's dark all around. So this one I'm actually gonna make a little bit darker. So let's check out the before and the after. That is crazy, let's put them side by side. That is so, so crazy, we went from this kind of like meh sunset photo to this one where the colors, there's so much that is interesting. There's so much happening. I'm super happy with that edit. All right, so now that you know how to edit amazing sunset pictures, I wanna see your original photos and also give you guys a chance to win some money. So go take some new photos, use ones you already have, click that link down there and enter my sunset photography contest. And thanks to partnering with Shutout on this video, Everyone who signs up using that link down there is gonna get a free $2 after their premium entry to any contest. And that should be my contest, like you can do anyone, but come on, you're gonna, you're gonna enter my contest. Also, little bonus, I'm gonna be shouting out some of my favorite entries, maybe even on this YouTube channel, I might go through some of my, my favorite sunset edits. So enter the contest, you could win money, you might get a shout out from me and it's gonna be a ton of fun. All right guys, until next time, peace out.